hello friends one of my subscriber asked me to talk how we going we, need, we are going to configure sql audit logs to windows security okay by default what are the error logs that are we are uh, seeing by using xp underscore read error log that will be going uh, will uh, obviously will go to the application log so whatever we have configured audit logs that has to go to the sql so i have uh, before uh, doing the practicals i have demo i have done demo for myself to see is everything is going uh, in the right way or not so i have prepared one documentation to avoid all the errors okay let's see how we are going to do and how to be how we can verify this before going to that what the official microsoft uh, documentation is saying all about so we can do that in various ways using audit poll and logs providing security and limitations the main limitations is sql server audit log will generate a huge log so so when we transfer to the event log it will uh, recycle uh, the what are the older events so that we need to keep the remember and if we configured um, um, domain level security so domain level security will have highest permissions and it will override the local security permissions so right now i am doing the demo in the work group computer okay please do remember that so here if you see here i am doing the all this in the uh, sql match instance i am having so, so i have my instance again uh, instance account is dot text user account uh, instance service account is test account okay i am minimizing this so before doing anything so i will recommend to go all this documentation so if you are there any anything uh, if you get anything error so here first of all uh, go to the security pool and uh, add your instance service accounts to these categories so once you go to the local security user rights assignment and uh, here you can so double click on that here you can add by default local security and network services will be there you have to add your instance service account for generate test service and as well as uh, manage auditing so where it is that manage auditing so manage you have to use that your instance service account is there okay so once it is done you need to uh, open the command prompt you need to type uh, gp update dash slash force to make the changes get effective or otherwise you can log off from that computer and log in again so if you don't want to use gb dot uh, slash force okay so the first we need to do that after that uh, you have to do some uh, secure forward security permissions for the sql server log open the reg editor but be careful when what you are doing anything in the uh, registry okay uh, you go to the, the respective path local machine system current control set services event log security so uh, right click on security click on provisions here add user here i have added uh, my instance service account and provided full control so once once it is done to take the permissions you need to restart the system uh, you need to restart the your service account okay so you can uh, just open your command prompt with run as administrator you can execute this command this command is an this step is an optional okay so i have done everything okay uh, even the third step is also which is added, i have done that one as well okay so now open uh, security and everything so before doing that uh, for testing myself i have done uh, with manually as well by creating audit file in the local uh, local drive this text okay this command will uh, give us okay if you see here so so it will list all, all that so these are all by default backend services okay so i don't want to filter so i'm i'm filtering this event so i have tested this a audit success change group login it's fail group okay so i'm i just tried the user with the kkk so that user is not exist obviously that will, will, will get fail okay so these are all successful logins okay so test my uh, to test myself other uh, everything is working on fine i have created that but uh, 
uh, right now this is just audit file to if we have multiple audit files this is this uh, command here it is going to search for uh, start the files which starts with audit end with dot sql audit okay so this is this is one what i want to show you now what i just go to edit click new edit here type any name here now here select security error log select this click on that so it will grade out okay click ok once it is done so right click and enable audit i and it was done now right click on that new security audit okay now here select the audit file write audit file okay so now fail fail login group so success audit successful login group so these two will list out what are the logins and lo what are the lo fail logins and successful the logins that are there in the sql server click ok so it is done uh, so enable server audit it was done now so it was time to test it okay so now go to event viewer log so refresh it so we have a very limited logs no problem or otherwise you can clear it clear the log for testing purpose okay so yeah it was done and refresh it okay minimize this one uh, now uh, disconnect and connect so that's what done so now i am trying with sa authentication i am uh, writing like harsha there is no username called harsha in sql server obviously fail so again i am trying with uh, ready so again it will get fail just to show that audit events are re getting recorded to the security logger so again i am logging with the unders authentication click text so i have done so many with the user hashtag and call ready so let's say these records are recorded or not in the security okay event viewer log sorry so go to the event viewer uh, click refresh yeah it got recorded see you uh, you will see that lock mark right so otherwise you can filter so now what i am doing is these are so many right so now what i will do filter current log last uh, last 12 hours no last hour okay so what is that event log event event id 33205 click ok so right now i am having this one just select that come here see that uh, i try to use the following with name already that got fail okay see you you can see that keywords called failure okay now you can come see the, this again see that got fail means you try to log in with the name called asha but it got failure so this is how see but for successful information also we are having same email id so it we it's a bit difficult and it will generate so if you I, I just have will open that so I am not filtering this where command I am committing this see how many events successful events are there see these many events are there for just for five uh, just for Two minutes are there this is world event please don't uh, uh, i mean combine this this event and that event so all this integrated what are the by sequence will will, uh, will open so many connections in the background right so that will uh, it will get will get uh, so but so uh, what i mean to say is so these are so many events are there for login or successful are there so if you see here see lenovo lenovo so what is that event call success so for everything i have logged in with the user call for lenovo for two or three times but here i am having so many events right so that's the reason so whenever uh, you want to write this this security in every end i will recommend to move that security file why 
why i am calling it as best practices see see whenever the sql server uh we have configured sql server uh, sql server write the security audit events to the event log let's assume that the secure event viewer is not available for moment so what will happen so it will not i mean uh, so we are dependent on the sql server if you keep that file available so there is no point of event viewer to be accessible in every time so for in consider event viewer uh, is like uh, the recycling is very huge is very high okay compare and that also we are having domain settings if the domain level group level policy is overriding so at that time it will get difficult but so once it is done okay so what i whatever i have done yes it is when successful the security audit events or running i mean or getting um, auditing in through the event viewer log in the uh, security log okay so i am going to give all this in the description box configure and test it and let me know if you have any issues or any success and let please do comment how it is useful for you thank you